a saying, a jack of all trades and a master of none. When it comes down to it, like, we're the only ones that really do amphibious reconnaissance, and that's where our roots are at. Honestly, this course every day is a challenge. From the student perspective, they're always uh, under stress, mentally and physically, and they need to perform to that standard that we have for them every day. I guess you're about five feet, and then everything else is pretty much like uh, unrecognizable. Being able to provide uh, competent, mission-capable divers to the uh, Fleet Marine Forces and Special Reconnaissance and MSOB units, or Raider Battalion units, and the more divers we can produce, the more capability we can give to a mission commander, and that way we can get more missions uh, in the future. You get a little nervous before, not knowing what to expect, and you know, you've just thrown on tanks, and especially if you've never dove before. Okay, change my tune. Good, good. good. Yeah. Go back to air, all the way on. Or turn back. Right? There's so much that can happen to a diver because of pressure. You have different poises, which are pulmonary overinflation syndromes, or decompression sicknesses. Blowing a scent rate, you come up too fast. I mean, three feet in the water, if you do something wrong, it can actually really mess you up. Sweep your sides. Proper hand placement. Stand by to enter the water. Enter the water. We want to put them under the harshest, uh, most demanding, stressful situation now. That way if they do encounter that exact situation or something similar to it, they know how to act. Now they have a basis for when something goes wrong, they know exactly what they do. They know how to get the air source and they know how to work out problems from there. Dive suit, dive rod surface, dive rod okay, back step, 13 feet, bottom time, unknown. 